John Jennings writes in, are wrestling boots comfortable? <coughs> they look like a miserable piece of footwear. Do they have any traction at all? It feels like you could slip on spilled beer outside on the floor. Just the opposite. <clears throat> wrestling boots provide ankle support, which, buddy, it don't take nothing to roll an ankle. You know, how many times you've been walking down the street playing grab ass with your girlfriend or yak in or on your cell phone or whatever the case may be and step off a curb you didn't know was there. You see how easy it is to roll an ankle and how painful it is and how bad the injury can be. It doesn't take anything. Now you're talking about going over the top rope to the floor and landing on concrete back in the day and all those type deals. Wrestling boots were what saved a lot of people. And uh, I'm one of them. Unless you've had them on, you know, and you laced up tight, it's almost like a cliche, but it's absolutely the truth. Lace those things up tight, and they will help protect your legs. Uh, the impression that you have is is altogether the opposite of what it really is. I don't know how guys could possibly be working in tennis shoes myself. I don't know how they don't break their ankles or blow out their knees or, you know, knee pads are another part of gear that I don't see how a guy works without them. But that's just me. And it may be part of it, me mental, but I think a lot of it is a very real protectorate as far as protecting yourself from getting injured. Uh, Ralph, uh, Lazowski writes in, in interviews on TV, you would state that Barry Wyndham was content with a woman, a fast car and money on the podcast. You've stated he never worked out. Did anyone ever try to motivate Barry to be better? In my opinion, he should have been the all time greatest. What say you? Well, there were no holes. I mean, it's not like Barry at the 25 minute mark would be out of gas or Barry would go to suplex you and couldn't pick you up because he wasn't strong enough. Going to the gym <clears throat> is what all of us did to enhance our careers, put some longevity into our career. Just, just do, you know, go lift weights just because it's the thing to do, and, it, and it's the only way you can really protect yourself and protect your opponent. Barry was just one of those guys that God gifted. He could go 60 minutes, never draw a deep breath. He could superplex animal off the top rope, never look like he was in danger of dropping him bad, drop him completely flat, muscle him over. Barry Wyndham was just one of those guys that had all the tools and it was God given. It wasn't anything he built in the gym or anything like that. It just, God just waved his wand and said, Hey, you're going to be one of those rare cats that can do anything you want in this business. And he could. Dr. Truth writes in one of my favorite wrestlers of all time is Arn Anderson. In fact, you're the reason I started watching wrestling. Who are one of your favorite wrestlers? We haven't really talked about that a lot, but who are your favorite wrestlers growing up? Well, I think I've said before that Dick Slater and Bob Orton Jr. are the ones that, that really tipped it my way as far as, okay, now you're not a fan in your mind. You want to figure out a way to do this because... There's just something about those guys as a team. I looked at the business differently than I'd ever looked before. I just saw the excitement that they were creating from their side of the ball. You know, it, it went from, okay, the good guys are knocking these guys all over the place. And then I went, hey, wait a minute. I think these good, the bad guys are putting themselves in a position to make these good guys look phenomenal. And once that light comes on for you, that's kind of your first step of being in the business because that's exactly the way the business is laid out and should be laid out. As a heel, you have a job, and it's to make everybody in that ring, including the referee, look like they know what they're doing. Uh, Bob Armstrong, obviously, because he was a local you know, hero from just up the road in Marietta, Georgia. Just, I mean, he was another guy that inspired me. Rocky Johnson with that physique. First time I saw him, I almost fell down. I never seen a body like that. <clears throat> That's pretty much the guys that that got my attention early on.